Welcome everyone. Adam the Wu here. As the recording of this, it is Saturday, June the 3rd, 2023. I'm in the parking structure of the hotel I am staying at in Hollywood, but I am heading over to Pasadena today to go to a horror convention called Monster Palooza, an event that I have been to several times in the past, but it's been a while. The last couple of years I did not attend. This year, 2023, is going to be an exciting, very packed, very busy Pasadena horrifying day. Join me. Shall we? From one parking lot to another, I now arrived in Pasadena. Slippery floor, level three of this parking structure. And right around the corner, corner of Green Street, right down that way, scared by the trees, is the Pasadena Convention Center. And met up with the first friend of the day, Daphne from the Daphne Show is here, Hello. wearing an appropriate outfit. Explain to me who you're cosplaying as. Oh, as Grace from Ready or Not. Ready or Not. That's the one where they all implode at the end. No spoiler alert. Yeah, where they play hide and seek. Hide and seek, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks. And you're going to be filming today too for your channel? Yeah, I'm so excited. First ever filming Monster Palooza. Last time we were at Monster Palooza at the same time was 2019. I know, you wasn't that long ago. I think that was the last time I was here. That's crazy. Yeah, well, last time I was, I mean, obviously I was in Pasadena, but it's the last time I was at Monster Palooza. And up here, there was a massive line. So I think it's gonna be a busy day. Maybe it even sold out. And I got here early enough. I think the event starts at 11. I got here early enough to where there was parking. I forgot to look to see how much the parking was, but yes, hopefully it won't be that bad. For the Pasadena Convention Center, which is right next to this building, the auditorium of the city of Pasadena, where Michael Jackson first did the moonwalk. I'm already starting to see some cosplayers. So Michael Jackson moonwalk here and Monster Palooza right over here. Now they are selling tickets at the door. In fact, all the pre-sale tickets are no longer available. You have to get them at the door. Ooh, is this a punk rocker from Return of the Living Dead? I think it is. I think it might be like a Return of the Living Dead. Hello there. Very nice. We got our tickets online. I got tickets about a month or two ago. So I have the QR code. Just got to go to, I guess it would be the will call. Man, I have not been in here in a long time. It's good to be back. All right, I stand corrected. This is the line to purchase tickets. Obviously, last night it started on a Friday and tomorrow is Sunday. The recording of this is Saturday, which is usually the busiest day. There are quite a few lines. There's a line that stretches that way. There is a little doggy. And then there's also a line that goes that direction, around the corner. And there is a head. All right, here is will call, which means that you've already purchased a ticket. And the line for will call stretches starting here all the way down this way okay that's an axe oh I see a clown up here oh and I also see ash oh, man. look at this clown right here on the corner from outer space very light <laughs> Starbucks right here. Now this just goes on and on and on. Look at how many people, oh my gosh, how far back does this go? This goes a long way back. Ash is following you. People brought chairs out here. It's like thousands of people here in line. All right, this place is definitely a beehive of activity. This is like strapped wraps, it's not strapped, but wraps around here. And then triple backs, quadruple backs, eight time backs all the way over here. Holy cow. Eight times back. Look at this. I mean, it was a long line just to this point. I don't think I've ever seen any year that was this busy. You want to wait in this line or just get coffee until it kind of dissipates a little bit? I think we should get coffee. Yeah, let's just wait. I mean, yeah. we can wait without waiting in line and then go in when the line kind of dwindles down. Yeah. 
All right, there are people in line handing out the wristbands. Evidently, this, this band has the wristband on there. Maybe they're, I don't know if they're performing or not, but. That'd be crazy. They're on the wristband. So we're gonna get coffee and then get back in line. Now there is a Starbucks right here. We're thinking, oh look at Leatherface has a kitchen. It's a kitchen utensil here. Huh. So our move is to go across the street to a shopping center with restaurants and whatnot and see if there's coffee over there. Not wait in that massive Starbucks line. And our assumption was correct. There's also a Starbucks right over here too. Take a look. Shops on Colorado Boulevard. Coffee initiated. I think maybe those guys are looking for coffee too right there. <laughs> Look like they're on a mission. What'd you get? I got a black iced tea. Got with a tea. I got the, we got caffeine of two different <laughs> persuasions. And this is only like a, a five minute wait. Mm -hmm. So I think our hack worked out well to not go to the Starbucks that's next to the line. And the door should be opening soon. Beethoven? <laughs> And the doors have opened. I'm just discovering that both these lines are exactly the same. So we're going to get in this line. This is the prepaid wristband line. And this is the buy a ticket line over here. So we're going to get in this line. How long have you been waiting in line, Jason? Oh, you're getting, you're very angry. You'll be in there soon. Whoa, you'll be in there soon, Jason. Stay patient. Alf? Hello, Alf. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Okay, now I'm confused. It looks like this wraps around here. Goes past this building. A lot of people. Okay. Oh, wait, we got COVID. Get away. <laughs> okay, we've gone back over to the first Starbucks, which had the long line. And we're just going to wait right here until the line dissipates and then get in the line, sit in the shade. Good plan. <laughs> Okay, we opted to get up from the table and now we're following this clown into line. All right, we're in. We're putting up the merch in here. And the first folks I bump into, the Grim Life Collective. Happy Halloween from Monster Palooza. Yeah. I didn't even know you guys were gonna be here today. Sneaky, sneaky, we were up in Seattle filming. We came down because this one here, got turned into this gorgeously grotesque hag. I was so beautiful yesterday, it was disgusting. All right, you do a video of it? Oh yeah. All right, I'll be on the lookout. My very oh. oh. So that's Jewel from yesterday. I was drooling a lot and I had these um, mouth tablets in. All right. I'm gonna shake and plug them. The mouth drool tablets were a uh, mouth FX. All right. Good friends of ours. Sounds it good. Like All right, there's definitely a lot of people in there. Oh, is that Vecta right there? We got a row of celebrities there. Oh, there's a Demogorgon right there. And this is the main entrance. You got a museum, vendors, and signers, Scooby Doo. And down that way, a lot more celebrities. All right. Going in the convention floor, Exhibit Hall A. It has been a while since I've been in this big room. Years. That is a really good ET. It's got the heart beating here. It's got the finger. Ouch. Oh, there's another Leatherface. Hello, Leatherface. It's not the same Leatherface I saw. There's a lot of Leatherfaces. Look at this mask. Look at this rat mask right there. Good posters over here. A clockwork. Raw head Rex. Zombie. There's a lot of very detailed Jason masks over here. Skeletor. Imagineer Rick. Imagine a Rick. Creepy clowns. Double headed skeleton. The Duchess. Hitchcock would be proud. Oh, Ooh. man, a doctor might like this. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, you have the lid. Nice. You got a little, uh, you got a little baby here. Yeah. <laughs> Everything here is available for purchase if you want. Those are called toad bags. 
Wendy Willow. It's the name of the company. Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. Oh, doesn't know which way to look. Ooh. Okay, that's bizarre. We're just talking about Cobra yesterday, Cobra earlier, and now there's a Cobra pillowcase or something right there. Well, maybe not a pillowcase, but some sort of cloth item, also the shining. And check out Beavis and Butthead up there, Rob Zombie style. And one thing about this convention is they do makeup. This looks like, I think this is supposed to be William Wallace. Look at that, and then here's the rest of the Braveheart crew right over there, look at that. It's their island. Oh, that's the guy on the far right. It's my island. All right, we got Marty and Doc over here. The cool people of Brad Stick. Yes. Oh my God, thank you. Am I designated a cool person? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, like a whole thing. It's like, it, it, it's your shirt. It's matches. It's my favorite. This is so cool. This is perfect for fresh baked. Cause you guys both like Haunted Mansion. It's my all-time favorite. You like the Haunted Mansion, right? Oh yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Because <laughs> I had all the storybooks and records when I was a little kid. When we go to Disneyland, like, where is he? Because that's my like, favorite character in the books. Oh my God. Yeah. He's coming to Walt Disney World soon. And one of the big things about this convention are makeup effects. Are a lot of people getting their makeup done throughout the course of the day. This is an example right here. Oh my gosh, it's Jack Torrance right there. They got Michael and Ghostface here, teaming up. Oh, they're very friendly with each other, very nice. <laughs> this is very clever, the best little horror house. There's Audrey too right here, very nice. Oh, that's a cool puppet. The caretaker from Mansion. So you made this? Absolutely, yeah. I want to mention my favorites. I worked there when I was young. And oh, really? Keep the spooky vibes going. I love it. Is this for sale or just for display? I do them for sale at times of the year that are spooky around Halloween time, but okay. uh, mostly I bring it out for display because folks see this and they're like, I know that guy. That's what brought me over. Yeah, yeah that is so cool. Look how startled he looks. Looks like he's yeah. seen a ghost. Take a look over here at these ghoulish creatures. Oh, what are those? Use your brains. Wow. Oh, just some present things like three feet taller than I am. Oh, there's a gorilla right here. They're hugging. Gorilla. They're having a little friendly embrace. Check out this rancor here. Wow. That is really detailed. That is pretty incredible. Such great detail here. Monster Palooza. Lucid Studios is the name of this place. All right, from Donnie Darko, we got Frank the Bunny here. Just walking around, surveying the landscape. A lot of cosplay, a lot of stationary stuff. This looks like aliens. The original Sigourney Weaver one, also Predator over here. Come on, I'm here. Come on, do it, do it now. Oh, wow. Oh, I think that bunny is from Twilight Zone, the movie, if I remember right. They're pulling the rabbit out of the hat scene. The makeup effects happening everywhere. Oh, it's even better. Here's Johnny. Hello, Michael. Oh, heads up, Michael, heads up. Keep moving. Oh. All right, this is pretty dang awesome. Check it out, the Haunted Mansion goes here. How cool is this? There we go, this is a little bit better. You can kind of see it from the distance. All four of them there. Yeah, quite an assortment of goodies through here. Ooh, it's like a merwoman over there. Look out here in this chair. Goodness, a lot of clowns out here. Clowns, welcome. Oh, here we go, we got Freddy over here. Hello, Freddy. Thank you. There is Grogu right there. Hello, Grogu. Hello, Grogu. I like how Grogu has Mando there, holding Mando. I love it. Thank you. All right, this is awesome. It's the Freddy and the TV set. How freaking cool is that? 
That may be one of the freaking coolest things I've ever seen. Well done, I love it. Man, that is awesome. How freaking cool is that? That is crazy. Clowns and creepy nuns galore. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, stepped inside the museum now. Check it out. There's Sylvester Stallone here. Here is the car from Cobra right there with the awesome 50 right down below. The original grenades were those silly stunt foam rubber. Yeah. So they had deteriorated. Don't touch the grenades. Don't, oh, I know. Don't touch those. Yeah, but this know. is the outfit Stallone wore. This is the screen used <laughs> outfit. <laughs> I'm going to blow up this shopping center. Go ahead. I don't shop here. <laughs> Who is this? Bert? No, is that Ernie? No, oh, that's Bert. Ernie. Bert. Yeah, yeah. Canadian Mint. <laughs> <laughs> we got the crew here. Everyone's here. Even Sean's here. I'm here. I can't. I have to be. I have to be, though. Hey, you guys here. chose to be here. I have to be. You're on the clock. Yeah. You're actually being paid to be here. I am. We're paying to be here. Yeah, you're hoping to get paid from being here. <laughs> oh, here comes the Haunted Mansion ghost over here, too. Oh, awesome. We just went inside the, the museum here, which is pretty cool. It's over in Ballroom B, and there really was quite a quite a bit of stuff in there. I showed the I showed the the car from Cobra and the screen used items from Cobra, but there's just a lot of other stuff in here. Just really really good uh, decor and props and whatnot, all kind of scattered through the ballroom through the museum area, which is one of the cool things about Monster Palooza. Uh, it kind of separates it from other things. They always have like a museum. I think one year, a few years ago, they had a haunted mansion area. No haunted mansion stuff. There's some haunted mansion cosplay, but definitely a lot of a lot of horror stuff kind of wedged into the Monster Palooza Museum. Always, uh, always something you definitely want to do when you're when you're here at this event. Oh wow, there's a lot of the Freddy TVs here today. This is a different one. Look at King Kong looking in over here. It's painful. Ooh, three Pennywises. Sometimes three are better one, but this is like three times the evil. All right, there's a whole other vendor room over here. There's a secondary other vendor room, a huge vendor room on this side too. There's a lot of monstrous tiki mugs right over here too. Look at these. Again, more makeup effects that are happening right over here. All right, King Kong, you gotta teach me the trick on climbing the Empire State Building. How, what's the trick? What? what, what? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There you go. I'm gonna remember that one. Good to see you. <laughs> The wedding dress. Yeah. I'm trying to get those. Yeah. And they made like a ton. Oh, watch out. Like Michael. You know, she gets the mistake. Good to see you. Good yeah. to see you, Krampus here. Hello, Krampus. Oh, what's going on back there? That's not good. Not good at all. <laughs> all right. Looks like they've been wading around in the swamps a little bit, telling secrets to each other. Hello. Thank you. All right, here's some blasts from the past. The past. Cool, cool duder. duder. How long has it been, Adam? How many years? A few now? years. Like three years or something? Yeah, and Maybe? Wet Movie 1 is yeah, also man. here. Yeah, the Wet one. The what are the, what are the odds? I know, right? I haven't seen you guys in like a decade. I mean, how I, long, I mean, it's been a long time. Have yeah. you been traveling the world? I have been. I'm a traveling man. Yeah. Yeah, I always wanted to ask, do you ever miss the movie? I used to call the it the movie. movie. Do you ever miss it? You ever saw I, I, man? I no, no, I never liked the RV. I like I liked the van more. Okay. Remember the Woodio? The Woodio, yeah, the Woodio. Yeah, yeah. years ago. The so wet movie never went to the to the Woodio. No, no. And you had your little doll in there too. Your special stuffed animal. Was, in the Woodio. Wasn't Danny there with you guys? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You saw all your stuffed animals. Yeah. You what heard was the, that? You heard the legends of the of the of the Woodio. Yeah. yeah. What happens in the Woodio? Stays in the, the Woodio. Yep. Yep. There's just a lot of weight loss. On the booty up, there is. I remember. Remember, you wrote down the weight numbers. I go, I fluctuate. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. It's good to see you Someone guys. Someone has a problem. You. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. <laughs> a lot of Michaels here. Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. And Jason back there. Jason's wedge back there. Hello, Jason. All right, that's trippy. 
even issued a possible status. <laughs> it's all still going? This is very confusing. Here's Freddy. <laughs> Here's Freddy. <laughs> we need those little, little nods to the head of the movie. Oh, I watch your uh, YouTube channel. Oh, you, you do? do. All do. right. Very good stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what I like? I want to say. What do you want to say? It's showtime. It's showtime. <laughs> say what? Say what? Third time to show. My name's Matthias. Nice to see you. I'm the longest surviving, <laughs> I mean living, resident from Reichland Asylum. And this is my friend Michael. Oh, I have seen him before. <laughs> That's where we met. It's nice to meet you. He's nice. Who's this? This Debbie. Debbie, okay. <laughs> the last surviving object next to the psychic twins, Lisa and Ledesma. Oh, she still has powers. <laughs> okay. Have fun today. See you, Michael. I ran into the one and only Scott Howard Teen Wolf here. You got the Walkman you're rocking down here. And it works. And it works. What kind of tunes do you listen to on there? The uh, score. Very nice. Yeah. You pulled that one out at the yep, last then, second. Excellent. Good to see you, Teen Wolf. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah. Oh, Teen Wolf wants a photo with me? You got the style shirt on. Excellent. I love it. Dude, I watch your flying videos. Oh, I think this might be one of the finished makeup products here. That is awesome. Ooh, watch out, you got Krampus behind you. You almost startled her again, Krampus. I almost startled her. Oh, you can have a smoothie. Demons are allowed smoothies. Are you taking it? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Holy cow, it's the woman from the bathtub. Oh, that is creepy. Workshop. Geppetto. He has a twisted workshop. Oh, it's the Blue Fairy. Double over here. Double Beetlejuice. All right, over at this shop, we got a lot of Beetlejuice stuff kind of scattered through here. In fact, this one's busting through the VHS copy there as well. Check out Freddy's dream file right here. Yeah. Look at this. I love I love the obscure. You know, it doesn't have the title on it. Just. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. getting a t-shirt here at the Monsters Are Good booth. This is the one I got from Monster Squad here, but they have quite a few different ones. Like the Ramones one too. And a cereal one. Thanks, man. I end up getting the, the Monster Squad one. I knew I had to buy something. I had to buy something here. It even has the Monster Squad font. But the name of the company is Monsters Are Good. Monsters, oh. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on over here? There's like a, there's a gorilla with a banana. Banana. They're playing, they're playing tag here. Oh, throwing the banana there. I hope no. Hopefully no one slips on that. Hopefully no one slips on the banana. shake a stick at. There's like a lizard man up there. There's like a, a couple clowns. There's like a Sasquatch of some sort. Just an assortment. 
Oh, here's an alien. Oh, it's one of the, the last of us. The, the... He looks like he means business. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, yeah. Hello there. Another return of oh. Showing the chest off there. Creepy fan club here. Very nice. Good to see you. Next up. It is now six o'clock. And they just made the announcement that the convention for the evening is closing up. All the vendors are packing up their stuff, putting their things away. Time to start heading out. You don't have to go home, you can't stay here. The door's closing. That's it. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's very tall. Thank you. All right, it's the American Werewolf in Long Johns. <laughs> Thanks, American Werewolf in Long Johns. Are those cozy? They're cozy, right? Very cozy. Nice. Looking good on them. America. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for today for Monster Palooza 2023. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. This was the best cosplay year I think I've ever been. Really? Yeah, there were so many more I think I've ever seen. <laughs> like, you had a lot of people recognize the, the, the cosplay yeah, you were doing. Yeah, a lot of Ready or awesome. Not fans. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for today for Monster Palooza 2023. It's a weekend thing, but the only day I was here, Saturday, the only day you were here was Saturday as the recording of this. I got my horror on. I got my t-shirt, which I haven't put on yet. I got like a, a large, which I don't know if I can squeeze into this yet, but maybe... I think you. Over time, I could, I'll be able to get, try it's to get... Goal. It's a goal. Get a smaller t-shirt, and that encourages you to maybe drop a couple bucks. Yeah. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Check out the Daphne Show on YouTube. Yeah. With that, the vlog is over.